Inquisitive minds want to know what's in my box. This is everything we bring to the range. I just kind of tailor it. I, I throw my stuff in here because I'm trying to beat the piss out of it because I want to see if it'll break. If it won't survive a, a transit 15 miles to the range inside of a, a Pelican case or through TSA, it's probably not going to hold up for real in use. So this is an easy way just to test to see what's actually going to break free, what's going to get destroyed inside of this central box. But, uh, no rhyme or reason, but I have FFL paperwork. Just in case you get stopped, they want to know why you have 10-inch carbines and suppressors and everything else. So answer for that. Clipboards with uh, shot standards, drills, different stuff we can get to. That way we got a break in time and we want to run through a couple foundational things. We can throw them in. And then just all the other ancillary stuff. So carbine with optics. I break them down, throw them side by side. Have another one from Cobalt with all of our stuff on it. I don't do uh, I don't do the whole padding thing I used to. I used to cut out the foam and make them all pretty like John Wick. And then I just realized that I wasted so much time doing that. And then I just stopped. Two sets of Ear Pro over the year. I really like these Swords just because of these gel cups, they're super nice. These op scores are really nice. I just, personal preference, I prefer these. But they suck because they really don't work under a helmet. So if we're running under the helmet, I go old tool, Peltor, or I run these op scores, they're super nice. But because somebody usually forgets or we have a, someone watching, it's always nice to have an extra set. Always have a couple shot timers, gaffer's tape, hockey tape. Taping up slings, ancillary stuff, taking up the backside of optics. Um, I usually run a couple just on the outside of my holster. They blend in. Just so if you want to change it up, I've already I've always got some on me. I'll just throw them over the red dot and we'll get the train some. So a variety of pistols depending on what we're going to do. And a lot of it is just to kind of test out like we shot some stages today. So run one with our agency collab, EOTech Optic, just to be able to run them through just to really see what you like better on that specific day, if it's different holster draw, it's an X5 Legion versus the gray guns or whatever else in between, just to get some um, different looks on it under the same kind of conditions. This is in there, prescription eye pro, extra eye pro, extra blowout kits. I mean, I always, we always say work on your own blowout kit, but or use your buddies, but a lot of times dudes don't have them and they don't have one that they actually want to bust into. So just carry an extra one. In case anything happens on a range, we can actually get inside of a kit. That's always nice to have. I've got two different belt setups. No real rhyme or reason. I like to break up the colorways. So black and tan, old school multicam, but both the exact same systems, mollied on in the same fashion, same tourniquet, blow kit placement, everything like that. Running the uh, True North Concepts, the MHAs, everything in between. Just make one uniform system. I don't like to change it up too much. Bring an extra sling. Oh, got a two to one tri glide on it. That way you can run a two point or a single point, whatever you want to. Sometimes we mess around with some different configurations and sometimes I don't have my handy dandy buttstock, so we'll just swap them out. Extra eye pro for in case anybody comes along with us. I've got a bunch of extra batteries, I've got extra inner belts, got some different buffer springs, different weights. You can kind of mess around with it. On some of the cobalt stuff, they've got some really nice buffer options. And sometimes you don't know what's best for you, so we'll get out here and we'll kind of just go through the whole array of them from a 5s A1, Geisley, and everything else. We'll kind of just do a monster garage kind of feel, just to figure out whatever's best for us. Always need some tools. These things were issued a long time ago and I've only lost a couple of them so I'm pretty proud of myself. Cole probably has them in his box somewhere. I always have some tools. The new hotness from SIG. New AXG. Just so we can kind of play with it. But always nice. You notice that we, we carry a shit ton of Surefire X300s. We try to put them on every light. That way they work with our holsters. We can just add on a light real quick, throw it in. We still run a couple positive reps. New inner belts, we'll talk about those later. And other than that, dude, I think that is basically it. We'll bring out some water. I dump it on the box, just like so. It packs in, now it's not gonna move. And we close it. 
That's what's in my box. Appreciate you, boys.